Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is just paint the entire thing, my test area here, brown. You can use any color that you want on the bottom. Um, you just wanna make sure it's a nice solid color or you could even probably stain the wood brown. I just didn't want like any of the writing, of course, to show through when I was going on to the next steps. And then you will dry it really, really good. We're gonna put glue on it in the next part. So you wanna make sure that the brown is like thoroughly dry. You want it to be wet or else the glue will get all mixed in. So for this part, I am applying just a thin layer of glue. As you can see, it's pretty thin, like just enough to coat the surface. And then you wanna make sure that while the paint is still wet, you're gonna apply your paint. I'm using white Waverly chalk paint. And I'm just doing a thin layer of paint. You just wanna rub it on top of the glue. You don't wanna like rub it in so it mixes with it. And then you'll just go ahead and dry it. And this is where the magic starts to happen. Um, I'll get a better shot at the end, but as you can see, it's already starting to do the, the little crackle, the um, crackle little strips in there. So the amount of glue and the amount of paint that you use does make a difference. That top one, that was really thick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it here, you'll see. So for this strip, I'm doing the same thing, except for I'm adding a thicker layer of glue. So this is like pretty thick glue. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, a thin layer of paint on top. So see, I keep adding more glue there, just getting it nice and thick. I wanted to see how it looked with each different variation. So same amount of paint on top, just a very thin layer, just enough to coat it. And then you'll go ahead and you'll dry that. So this one is gonna look pr pretty similar, pretty similar to the top one. So when the paint's really thin, you're gonna get a similar look. It's when you, on the next two, when I start to do the thicker paint, that it will look a little different. So as you can see there on that second one, you can see the brown through a little more. I'm comparing it to the top there because I tested it out before. <laughs> okay, so this one, you are gonna, or I'm gonna do a thin layer of paint. So this one's a thin layer, but now I'm gonna do thick, or I'm sorry, a thin layer of glue. But now I'm gonna do thick paint on top. So I coated that paint on pretty thick. My cat is meowing in the background. <laughs> so now I dry that and now you'll start to see where the crackles start to get a little bit deeper and you're gonna get more coverage. So it's not gonna be as brown underneath with that thick paint. But the crackles still aren't really huge because I still had that thin layer of glue underneath on that one. And for the last one, which is my favorite, well, it depends on what you're gonna do. This is a good for a background of something. I'm gonna do a really thick layer of glue, like a lot of glue on there. I'm coating that baby up. And now a thick layer of paint on top of that. So see how thick that paint is? So really cover it. I'm trying to scrape my paint back into the jar because I don't like to waste anything. <laughs> Okay, and then you'll dry that. Mellow, stop. And so you see how thick those crackles are? So the thick paint and the thick glue is like the good combo. I like thin and thin or thick and thick. Those are the biggest variations. All right, so the top one, this one right here will be thin glue and thin paint. This one, next one's gonna be thick glue and thin paint. Then it's gonna be thin glue, thick paint. And that last one is thick and thick. So see how they look different. So thick and thick. And then the top is thin and thin. Well, not that very top one.